This is the Engines of Our Ingenuity, made possible by the friends of KUHF Houston. Today, Gustav Fechner and the Mathematics of the Senses. The University of Houston presents the series about the machines that make our civilization run and the people whose ingenuity created them. Our eyes and ears tell our brain what is going on in the world. But how is what our senses measure translated into what we perceive? The field of psychophysics was founded less than 200 years ago to answer this question. The German scientist Gustav Fechner was a founder of psychophysics. A few years after starting as a professor in Leipzig in 1834, Fechner studied after images, the lingering impressions that remain after we stare at something bright. And Fechner did exactly what we tell our children not to do. He stared directly at the sun. His eyes became so sensitive that he could neither read nor write. He suffered from insomnia for nearly four years after. Doctors prescribed a hallucinogenic substance, which probably only worsened his condition. By all accounts, these four years suffered in near-complete isolation were hellish for Feshner. But he emerged transformed. His sight restored and bringing with new ideas. He wrote on a variety of topics for the rest of his life. One of Fechner's greatest insights was what is now known as the Weber-Fechner law. Fechner's mentor, Ernst Weber, already observed that the more intense the sensation, the larger the change required for us to notice a difference. If you hold a one ounce weight in your hand, you will notice easily if I add another ounce. But if you hold a 10 pound weight, it is much harder to tell the difference when I add an ounce. Fechner took this observation and extended it. He suggested that our perception of the intensity of a stimulus is proportional to the logarithm of its true physical intensity. For example, when we double the physical intensity of a sound, we perceive it as less than twice as loud. This law holds approximately in many circumstances, and it was one of the first attempts to mathematically formulate how our minds make sense of the world. Fechner also wrote on religion, philosophy, and other topics. His ideas influenced many others, but he was often not taken literally. Although they sound fantastical, his speculations were often right. For example, he suggested that if the two halves of the brain are separated, the patient would have two consciousnesses residing in one body. This far-fetched idea has now received strong experimental support from neuroscientists. Yet, Fechner's most influential idea is that our perception can be studied rigorously and described using mathematical laws. I may not know exactly what goes on in your mind, but the work of Fechner and his successors tells us that our minds follow the same rules when we make sense of the world. This is Kresha Yosic at the University of Houston, where we are interested in the way inventive minds work.